Next one up here, we've only got a few more to go. Wisconsin at Minnesota and the Golden Gophers, a seven-point underdog at home, total of 39. I so so I figured that Wisconsin was going to be favored by like 10 at this point. Minnesota, obviously, very up and down, a lot of volatility with this team. And when you look overall at Minnesota's defense and really what they, you know, their offense isn't anything great, but they do have certain games where, you know, they, they certainly show up and they're able to uh, to run the ball and whatnot. Then I doubt they're going to be able to run on this Badgers defense. But, you know, field position, as far as defensive field position goes for, uh, for Minnesota, uh, number two in the country. The thing that scares me is it, they rely a lot on the rushing game. And if they can't run on that Wisconsin defense, it, Tanner Morgan is going to have nowhere to go. Like, <laughs> nothing yeah. to do there. So I will take Wisconsin here to cover. But also, this is a pretty crazy matchup. Like, I, I, I could totally see Wisconsin botching this and reverting back to the old ways of turning the football over and all that. That's what terrifies me about it, right? Which, by the way, we talked so badly about Wisconsin early in the season, about their turnover margin and everything else. Uh, you look at them now, I mean, they're they're up to number 56 in turnover margin. Like, they were in the, the 110s uh, early in the season, and they, they've moved that thing all the way back up. Minnesota likes to shorten the game. I mean, they only run like 68.7 uh, plays per game. I, I think... I think it'll be a short game, but I think Wisconsin handles this. I, I'm going to take the Badgers to cover the seven. So I, I see a low total. I see Wisconsin 127th in early downs rush rate, Minnesota 123rd in early downs rush rate. I see Minnesota's defense 18th in rushing success rate allowed. I think this is going to be a bloodbath. I think it's going to be a fight. I, obviously, I think Wisconsin's going to win, but I think Minnesota is going to be able to make this muddy enough that that it's going to be close, and so I actually think I'll take Minnesota in the points. I uh, I like that. I like. I'm that. three and one. I'm, this is a kiss of death right here. I'm three and one on Minnesota to cover uh, <laughs> as a dog this season. So this is the kiss of death. But whatever. I can I can I can see where you're coming from, right? I, I just I, I can't see Wisconsin reverting back right now because I feel like Paul Christ and that bunch has figured out what to do with Graham Mertz. But if they are put in a pressure situation where they are relying on him to throw the football, it's anything goes. So, yes, I could absolutely see taking Minnesota. Minnesota's defense has been good. There's just been, whenever they go up, like a a step up in competition for whatever reason, they're not able to do the same things, right? That's what what worries me about this. So, while I would love to see Minnesota win this ballgame outright, and and actually just completely stir up the entire Big Ten West. You know, I mean, we'll we'll see. I, I'm taking Wisconsin, you're taking Minnesota. Shit in one hand, and, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. If, uh, you, <laughs> if, you, if you really want chaos, you got to root for Nebraska, too. you got to root for Nebraska and Minnesota so that we get a four-way tie. Uh, who, so the, uh, the, the tiebreaker there. It'd be Wisconsin, Iowa, Purdue, Minnesota. And I think that they do that thing where it's your record versus the other one. So I'd have to go look at it. I but. think, no, I think, uh, God, I was reading something about this earlier. I think in that, okay. in that situation, Minnesota would actually go. Like it'd be Minnesota against, you know, Michigan or Ohio State. And yeah, I would love that. I would love it. Now, who knows what to make of, of Nebraska now that Adrian Martinez is not playing. We'll get to talk about that on the Bet US show, but that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be fun. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.